Clark County, it will take a while to clean up the damage from last week's tornado outbreak. Sky 7 shows the view. This is Mitchell Road in Springfield Township. The Clark County EMA director said the EF2 twister damaged 109 homes. It was on the ground for more than 20 miles with 130 mile per hour winds. The damage forced polling places to change for the upcoming primary. New Center 7's Malik Patterson spoke with the Board of Elections here. When it comes to the primary election this March. Yeah, we're still thinking about it. It's not completely top of my mind, but uh, it hasn't left it. Is not the first thing on people's minds here in Clark County. Not, not recently. I mean, just trying to get everything to get together with insurance companies. Because for some people, they are still cleaning up after the tornado last week. Clark County Board of Elections wanted everyone to know. If they're living with uh, family members or, or even some shelter someplace, uh, still vote. You have the right. We want, you, we want to hear your voice. They wanted to remind voters they can early vote at the Clark County Board of Elections facility because they are back to normal operations. But for people like Terry Wilson, his life is anything but normal. He's still managing to get around for this cleanup. Well, it was tough uh, getting down the road, but then seeing the devastation for other people just yeah, it broke my heart. Wilson said he will try to go back to normal, but it's hard after experiencing the tornado. Worst sound I ever heard in my life. Will you still go out? Oh, go? sure. Sure. Yeah, it's part of the job. Malik joins us live now. Does the county expect a lower voter, voter turnout in the wake of the tornado and, and the damage left behind Malik? Cheryl, no. As of today, I was told that the early voter turnout has actually been pretty steady, and the Board of Elections actually expects more people to come out and vote this time around into the polls than they did in 2020. And the last day to request an absentee ballot is next Tuesday, which is March 12th. All right. Malik Patterson reporting live. Thank you.